Hello friends. Today we are going to study few commands in Fusion 360. Just give me a second. See, now you'll be able to see my screen. Okay, today we are going to study few commands from this create menu. See, I have already drawn a surface. First study, uh, let's first study the extrude command. We have already studied, I know, but let's just revise it. By using extrude, I can add material in perpendicular direction in this way. And uh, we have already know, uh, we already know that on this surface also we can draw some drawing and uh, extrude from that. Uh, next command is revolve. So you can take any surface and revolve it around certain axis. So let me select this face and I'm going to apply revolve command. So I have to select one axis. So I'm going to select this one. See, you can see that I have uh, formed a circle. You can also specify the degrees, how many degrees you want. Okay. Now next command is sweep command. For sweep command, we, uh, we can use this sweep command for uh, for drawing certain kind of pipes. So let me draw another sketch. So let's just draw something circular so that we'll be able to form a pipe. Okay, so I have a um, circle. Now, for sweep command, you need a path. And for that path, your path should be perpendicular to your surface. So this is my surface. And your path should be in a plane which is perpendicular to this face. Okay. So now I'm going to draw a path. Okay. Uh, Let's just construct a plane. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, so this is how my screen looks now. Uh, let me create a sketch. Uh, so I'm going to draw a face on in this plane. See, it's already in 3D, so I hope you guys understand it. Uh, so, and I can now draw the path also. So I can choose, I have to choose this plane and I have to draw the path. And uh, the path should start from this plane. Are you, I hope you are getting my point. So this is my starting point. Uh, see, I'm just specifying the points. Okay, so I have a circle and a path. Then uh, we can use sweep command, select the face and then select the path. Uh, let me change my path.
Okay, I have already drawn a circle. Now let's draw the path. So this will be my first point. Let me draw it again. Actually, the circle is bigger, so we have to specify path such that we can add material in that path. So now let's use sweep command. First, select the profile. Now, then select the path. Okay, so if you change the path a little bit, you'll be uh, able to get it. Okay, so that was all about sweep command. Now let's go to uh, next command, uh, that is loft command. So for loft command, you need two faces in two different planes, which are parallel to each other. So let me first draw my first sketch. So here I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to select this plane. Okay, and uh, I'm going to draw a circle over here. Okay. So I will finish the sketch. Now I want to construct another plane which is parallel to this face. So I will select an uh, offset plane which is parallel to this face. Uh, you can also specify the distance here. Okay, so this is my plane. I have selected that plane and now I will again draw another sketch and now again uh, let me draw another shape uh, so it's in rectangle see you can see two faces were parallel to each other now let's use the loft command Select first face, select second face, and see you have a body. So, if you want to join two different shapes, then you can use this loft command. Okay, we'll stop here and uh, we'll study different uh, another commands in next video.